Hey y'all, hey. So y'all gonna see my face a lot today. Um, so this is a follow-up. This is basically like a part two video for my tower card um video. Um I know I spoke about using the tower card energy, especially when it comes out in a reading, a personal reading of yours. You, how how um, how you should use that energy of that card to propel you into the next chapter or the next stage of your life. I didn't tell you but I didn't suggest how you do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how I do it and how I operate within those moments. So normally and ironically enough, whenever I'm going through major transformations or going through a tower moment, it's right around the time of my birthday. Um, so we are in August. So my birthday is four months away. My birthday's in December. Um, and so like, I don't know why, but for some reason they always be like hey major transformation right 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 around the time of your birthday i guess that's what i signed up for but sometimes i'm just like can y'all give me a break can i have like an easy birthday an easy peasy birthday <laughs> so what happens when i notice or for me personally what what happens when i notice that i'm in these tower moments is um i find myself getting depressed um and so when that happens Sometimes, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm gonna be vulnerable with y'all. Sometimes I wallow in it for a while and then I'm like, all right, enough is enough. And then it's like, it's, it's time to get my shit together. And what I start doing is I start going back to my basics. Now, thank God, and thank God is for my mentor, Miss Kim. I'm gonna tag her in the video, um, actually. Uh, Kim's, Kim Warner's, uh, Warner's uh, Human Services. I'm gonna tag her in the video. Thank God for her because she taught me what the basic, or what my foundation and basics of spirituality should be. And that's meditation, prayer, and journaling. And you can add sometimes fasting in it. It depends on what your spirit team uh, tells you. Because in the season, in the season of the tower moment, you are literally, like for me, I'm being told that these are, you're in this moment because one, you need, you're, you have old perspectives that are no longer serving you, old beliefs, old thought patterns, old feelings that, yeah, you've been purging them and you've been releasing them, but now we need you to, like, finally cut the cord so we can project you into where you need to be or where you're going next. So what happens is, is when I'm in those moments, when I find myself being in, like, the deepest depths of, the, of depression... Um, my spirit, my higher self will only, or the, the God in me or in the goddess in me will only allow me to sit and wallow in it, but for so long when it's just like, all right, we done, we done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah, we're done and we're done. And so then I start praying. I start meditating more. I start journaling or getting the urge to do the, do those things. I start because, um, because I believe, and Miss Kim has taught me that your um, outside world, like your out, your room, re um, represents what's going on inside. So I know, like, once I start seeing a whole bunch of clutter in my room, all right, now I need to start, like, when it's time for me to start getting back to the basics, and that's when it's like, all right, I get, I get motivated to clean, and when I say clean, I mean deeply, like wiping the walls down uh and cleaning another tool that helps me um when i'm going through these tower moments is music music is for me personally music has been the biggest help with one boost in my confidence and also um me speaking to my spirit guides or my spirit guides or my spirit team speaking to me so in this time, I'm playing gospel music or any music that basically uplifts me. One of the, my favorite songs to play on repeat is um, well, one of my two favorite songs I'll give you is Order My Steps. It's a, it's a gospel song and um, there's a leak. There's a leak in this whole building. Now, normally that the last song is for when someone is about to transition. But for me... Uh, my ancestors have given it to me to listen to because for me personally, it does 
coincide with someone transitioning, but it also is me transitioning out of my old consciousness and expanding and growing into a new consciousness. And the most important thing that helps me is having a gratitude mindset and attitude. So when I'm depressed, I fight that with my spiritual foundation, but also a gratitude mindset because you can't be depressed and you can't you can't you can't be depressed and grateful. So like this morning I did um a little quick spiritual shower and while I was listening to the meditation, while I was meditating in the shower, I was coming back to saying I'm great. I know I don't have the tools. I I know I don't have the tools that I think I need now, but I'm grateful for the tools that I have now which will get me to the place that I need to be. And that's how I personally uh use that energy use the tower card energy to help project me forward i hope it helps see ya